Eggs are super expensive right now, and so long as you're cooking them fully, they are almost completely safe to eat. The chances of you contracting bird flu through eating eggs is very, very slim, starting off with the fact that sick birds generally don't lay eggs to begin with. But I thought now would be just as good a time as any to show you a trick that a lot of baker, bartender, and cook friends of mine use to make their eggs safe to eat raw. Because in case you were not aware, a fully cooked egg does not include soft boiled or sunny side up or over easy. A runny yolk is still considered technically raw, and eggs are considered only entirely safe when they are fully cooked. So to make eggs safe to eat while they're still in their almost completely raw state is pasteurization. And to do that, all you need to do is keep your eggs between 130 and 135 degrees Fahrenheit for about 90 minutes. It's been, oh God, I almost fell. It's been 90 minutes. I came back from a workout and my eggs are all done. So now all that there's left to do is put your eggs in the ice bath and let them chill. Low temperature pasteurization is used for a lot of things, whether it be for delicately rendering dairy products safe to consume like milk, or sometimes you can find commercially pasteurized eggs at the grocery store. It's also used in pickling. That's how you can keep some pickles shelf stable while keeping them really crunchy. God, I'm so good at these. There is, however, a chance that the egg white won't look exactly like it does when it's raw. Sometimes it's a little cloudier than you'd expect, but it acts and behaves just like a raw egg. I could safely drink this right now. I'm not going to, but I could. Statistically speaking, your chances of getting any kind of sick while consuming an egg like this were always pretty slim, but now you're armed with a way to make that chance almost completely zero. 